welcome to the TR3 B channel and all that. Today we've got another glitch video for you. It's the one where you get infinite amount of XP from duplicating a load of items and scrapping and all that rubbish. Check it out. You might remember this glitch from a month ago. It was patched, but there's a certain way of doing it so you can get a load more XP again. All you want to do is make sure that your character can create as much XP as possible. You can do that by getting on some unyielding armor, making sure that your health is really low, taking a Live and Love 8, taking loads of um, lunch boxes, being on the team with the inspirational perk cards on, taking some canned stew meat, sleeping for 30 seconds, blah, blah, blah. You know what to do by now to make sure you get a maximum amount of XP while making stuff in the game. So what we're going to do, you now just wait for me to take all these lunch boxes, oh yeah, Mentas as well. Anything to get your intelligence high, that will make you get extra XP. Obviously being in a team, I'll show you the perk cards in a minute that we're using. Live Up 8 magazine will give you XP if you're in a team and canned meat stew. I think you get an extra 5% for an, uh, 5 XP for an hour. If you take that magazine as well. Now what we're going to do is very similar to the glitch of that last month. Apart from the patch and you couldn't do it with the meat cleavers anymore. It's still not working properly. That I don't know what the rest are thinking. But there's certain items in the game. Oh, here are the um, perk cards I'm using by the way. So make sure you've got an inspirational one. Make sure you're in a team. Um, also, yeah, put on um, sturdy frame. So you can make more stuff. Scrapper. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, I'm not too sure about that one, but I should have one anyway. Have a read up, see what you think. Basically, anything. So, yeah, super deep as so we make more items. Um, you know, the dupes. Anyway, you should be aware by now that last month was a really good month for XP. We got a load of XP from doing a certain glitch, and that gave us an absolute crap ton of steel and wood. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my channel from last month. Um, XP glitch. Anyway, if you're like me and got loads of steel and loads of wood, you can go to certain items, you can craft certain items. What I'm using is the Piper Road Goggles. Unfortunately, you can only obtain these in the PlayStation Store. You can buy them once. If you buy, I think it's 4,000 atomic points, you can get the Piper outfit, goggles and hat. We're using the Piper's goggles. You've got to buy that, unfortunately. There is another item that is um, in the atomic shop you can use. But only works with these two items. It's really strange. Now, what I'm trying to say is, once you've made 255 of these goggles, you can then scrap them immediately. Now, what Bethesda did last month was make it so we can't bulk scrap items, but you can with these two items. So it's the Piper's Road Goggles, and there's one other item I'll show you in a minute. But that is the basis of the glitch. We're going to make sure that we can create as much XP from making stuff. Now, unfortunately, it, this ain't as lucrative as last month's glitch. Last month, we're getting 1,000, 2,000 um, XP every time we did this. But um, now we're only getting like 400, so it's not great. But it's still the best way at the moment to get XP in the game. I mean, make sure you're on a team as well, preferably a team with three other players in it. And a casual team, so you get um, a point for each team member being so intelligent. So you get higher XP. Anyway, this one as well, look. The Patriotic Vault Boy Mask is the only other item that you can bulk scrap. Therefore, at the moment, there's only them two items in the game. Now, I think, and I'm pretty sure it was, in the Tricentennial bundle that you got when you first bought this game. It was in the Atomic Shop last month. So if you were lucky enough to buy it from the Atomic Shop, you can now bulk make them and bulk scrap them. If not, go and buy Piper's um, goggles, uh, it's like a raincoat and hat in the Atomic Store, not Atomic Store, the PlayStation Store, or the Xbox Store, or whatever it is on PC. If you buy that, you get a load of Atomic Points, and you also are able to craft the Piper's goggles. And that's how we are doing this glitch. Now, at the moment, as you saw, I'm not actually getting a crazy amount of XP for it. There are other ways to 
boost up your XP to make this more lucrative. I just want to show you from a very basic way that you can use these two items in the game. It still works. You can still use these items, bulk make them, bulk craft them, and then bulk scrap them. Now the only other downside of this is you're going to you lose 100 steel or 100 wood each time you do this, even with the super duper uh, perk card on. But if you're like me, you did that dupe last month, Another I've got over a million steel and just under a million wood, so it didn't really bother me that much. So you can still get a crap ton of XP doing it this way, and therefore, it is the best way at the moment in the game to get XP by duping a load of items. Oh yeah, I tried it with various different items as well, like the Red Rocket Robot Helmet. Unfortunately, it didn't work. And now I've got to delete 255 of them manually. Really annoying, but there it is. That is the latest glitch. Still works in the game, the best way to get XP at the moment. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. See you soon in the wasteland. Bye.